My name's Corinne, and I'm a fourth year President Scholar and Communicative Disorders major at Cal State Fullerton. You may remember my informative video on Aphasia Awareness Month, June, from last year's showcase. May is a pretty important month, too. Not only because May 15th is National Chocolate Chip Day, mm. May 9th is Lost Sock Memorial Day and my birthday, Yes. and May 28th is National Hamburger Day. Oh, this looks delicious. But because May is Better Hearing and Speech Month. So in honor of May, let's learn about a little something called Phonological Processes. Phonological processes are the patterns that all young children use to simplify adult speech when it's too complicated for them. For example, I'm sure you've heard a young child say wawa instead of water, or sketty instead of spaghetti. When children make these changes, they're not random. They're based on rules that the child makes and applies to many different words and phrases. As children mature, they usually stop using these patterns and their speech becomes more adult-like and understandable. However, some children continue to apply these patterns to their speech even into later ages. Now, there are full classes devoted to the study of children's speech sound disorders, like phonological processes. I don't think most of you are too interested in learning all of the tiny details, so I've selected just three important pieces of information that we'll need before we can delve any further into the types of phonological processes. Bear with me, it may seem a little bit complicated, but trust me, the information that you gain will make for great conversation starters at parties. No, that's not going to do it. First, each and every one of us has a vocal tract, which consists of the organs that we use to make speech sounds. It includes your lips, teeth, tongue, hard palate, soft palate, vocal cords, and more. Second, you should know that speech sounds are called phonemes. We're not talking about letters here, we're talking about sounds. For example, the word showcase has eight letters, but it only has five phonemes or sounds. Sh, o, k, a, s. Third, phonemes can be divided into groups based on the manner in which they're produced in the vocal tract. The first group are stops. These are created when you stop a pocket of air behind a structure in your vocal tract. For example, your lips. And then the air explodes out. That's why stops are also called plosives. In this case, you would get the sound B. The second group are fricatives. These are created when a continuous stream of air passes through a small opening anywhere in the vocal tract. For example, if you pass a stream of air between your top teeth and your bottom lip, you get the sound V. Think friction. All right, with that out of the way, I think we're ready to move on to the demonstration portion of our video. Now, I have to warn you, due to an extreme lack of children at my disposal, I had to go digging through the President Scholar's video archives, and wouldn't you know it, there's 10 current scholars who each displayed a different phonological process when they were younger. What are the odds of that? Laurent presented with cluster reduction. That means that he would delete one or more of the consonants in a consonant cluster. Here he is describing his first trip on an airplane. The bat pain flew through going cows. Felicia presented with stopping. That means that she would use stops or plosives in place of other types of consonants, like fricatives. Think of Tweety Bird when he says, I taught I taught a pretty cat. Laura presented with weak syllable deletion. Just as the name says, it means that she deleted the weakest syllable from some words. I like pooters and scatty and tomatoes, nanas, and octopuses. Lisa presented with gliding. That means that her er and l sounds would become u and y sounds. Think of Elmer Fudd. My favorite foods are raspberry, lemon, rhubarb, and Lucky Mode ice cream. Talia presented with reduplication. That means that she selects one syllable from a word and duplicates it. Put Wawa in my baba, mama! Brittany presented with final consonant deletion. This one's just what it sounds like. She would delete the final consonant from some words. We lost so to wad the pig. Melanie presented with vowelization. 
That means that she would use vowels like O instead of some R's or L's. I gave the little tiger milk for his meal. Aren't they just precious? Thanks for listening, and remember to use some of your newfound knowledge at your next cocktail party. Trust me, it'll be a hit. Have a happy Better Hearing and Speech Month! Yeah.